Hi guys, welcome to CWI Part B Practical Book of Specification Lecture. This is Lecture 7. Today I'm going to talk about Chapter 2 Workmanship Requirements and Visual Inspection of Acceptance Criteria. Last time in Lecture 6, I stopped at 2.3.1.4 overlap. So today I'm going to start from 2.4 fill out word dimensional tolerances. So 2.4.1. I'm going to read out and give you the explanation. Word length and spacing. Unless otherwise specified, the word length indicated is the minimum word length and there is no maximum. What it means is, like here, we have a wording symbol for the fillet word. This triangle means fillet word, and on the right side, uh, yes, right side of the fillet word symbol, there is a length. This two means length of the word, and here six is pitch. So, BOS, what it says here is the length indicated is minimum. So this two is the minimum length. So like here, fill up word symbol and two. Two is the length of the fill up word. And this like here, this one piece of word, the length of this word is two and this is minimum. It can be three, four, five, six, and there is no maximum. There is no maximum. The length of fillet words is the overall length of the full size fillet, including end returns boxing as measured along the center line of the effective throat and excluding the word. Uh, undersized portion of the start and stop. The length of the fillet word is overall. This is overall length. And four size fillet, including end returns boxing. The boxing means this word all around wrapping this is boxing so including this boxing measure along the center line of the effective throat and excluding undersized word effective throat as this is fillet word Then the effective throat is I can make a triangle here and the effective throat is distance of the on top of the triangle to the the base meter right here and the interface between base meter and word meter right here this is effective throat Excluding undersized portion of the start and stop. Start. So this undersized of the start and stop are excluded. Tolerances of subclass 1.3.2 shall be applied to determine if the minimum length is acceptable, e.g. a 74.2 mm word length satisfies the requirements for a 75 mm word. Tolerance, tolerance is like a plus minus 0.8 mm or something. The subclass 1.3.2 is chapter 1 and 1.3.2 is about tolerance and apply to determine the minimum length is acceptable or not. So 
75 millimeter is the required word length and the tolerance is plus minus 0.8 millimeter then minimum acceptable length is 75 75 minus 0.8 millimeter so this is 74.2 so 74.2 millimeter is the minimum acceptable length that's the tolerance Unless otherwise specified, the weld spacing pitch is the maximum spacing between the centers of adjacent welds and there is no minimum. So this pitch, the spacing is called pitch and pitch is described as here pitch this from the Philip word wording symbol on the right side the first number is length and second number the six is pitch and here it says pitch is four length is two and pitch is four so pitch is the piece of a piece of word and another piece of word you make a center line here and center line here again and from distance from center line to center line here this is pitch so this is 4 and here it says in the wording symbol 4 and this distance is the maximum and there is no minimum The sentence here is the same as this sentence tolerance tolerance of subclass 1.3.2 the same things so I'm not gonna uh, explain this one I'm gonna skip this one fill up word size unless otherwise specified in the visual inspection acceptance criteria the fill up word size is the minimum word size and there is no minute maximum the tolerances of subclass 1.3.2 do not apply unless otherwise specified the visual inspection acceptance criteria the fillet word size is minimum so from the fillet word symbol on this reference line the left side is the size of the fillet word so that's one fourth inches here 8 millimeter this is inches and this is 8 millimeter 8 inches of fillet word size is not making any sense so this is inches and millimeter and this size is the minimum size like here uh, it doesn't have this size this is minimum not the maximum so size of the fillet wire this can be 8 millimeter but could be 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter there is no maximum and tolerance standard uh, acceptance standard acceptance criteria of subclouds 1.3.2 do not apply so it says the specified word size is 8 then that should be there should be 8 there's no undersize wording next one is table 1 table 1 the title of the table 1 is visual inspection acceptance criteria structural steer this table 1 is table 1 has four columns the left column is discontinuity category and inspection criteria and the right columns are divided by three columns uh, the left one is statically loaded connection tubular connection and cyclically loaded condition and tubular connections number one is crack prohibition and this you can see 
this x x x x means is belonging to statically loaded condition cyclically loaded condition and tubular connections like here in seven undercut this x is only on in statically loaded condition no x here but 7b or 7b is belonging to this cyclic loaded condition and tubular connection this is how you read this table uh, number one is crack prohibition any crack should be unacceptable regardless of size or location so when you if you see the crack on the fillet word or groove word that's rejected no matter what if you see the crack that's rejected number two word base metal fusion thorough fusion should exist between adjacent word layers of word matter and between word matter and base matter okay uh, what it means is here is the group word here let's say assuming root pass is here and second pass you made here and third pass made here this is the first pass then between the first pass the root pass and second pass there should be no open surface and second phase and third phase in between them there should be no open surface and the fourth phase and second phase and third phase there should be no open surfaces so complete fusion should be made on all wells between words and base metal this is word base metal fusion and crater cross section all craters should be filled to provide the specified word size except for the ends of intermittent filler words outside of their effective length this crater cross section this is very simple but this crater cross section is in the actual question of CWI part B so you need to think of this one I'm going to show you the actual question for crater writer something like this T joint for fillet word which specimen has a crater on it when you perform visual inspection for structural steel so when you read this question you need to think about this structure steel structure steel means chapter 2 so go to chapter 2 and here crater this crater is in this table 1 number 3 crater cross section and the problem says which specimen has a crater so here in the fillet word and left joint specimen f1 f2 f3 f3 doesn't have any discontinuity but f2 has discontinuous word on uh, not a continuous word here but this is not a crater but f1 here elliptical discontinuity this is called crater so just pick f1 very simple this is crater cross section and number four is word profiles word profiles should be in conformance with 2.3.1 2.3.1 is right here word profiles table one table two table three figure a figure b so go to table one this is table one what we are talking about so where the profiles is per 2.3.1 and go to table two table two is where the profiles is divided by uh, but where the t joint the left joint corners inside group where the fillet where the uh, so profile is figure a schedule a figure b schedule b figure a schedule a is for group word and figure b schedule b is for fillet word so table three is schedule a this r means reinforcement and schedule b is fillet word w is width and c is convexity and figure a shows the group word word profile and figure B shows fill up word word profiles so according to table one 
This word profiles should be should be in conformance with 2.3.1. Time of inspection. Visual inspection of welds in all steels may begin immediately after the completed welds have cooled to ambient temperature. Visual inspection of weld for all steels begin inspection should may begin immediately after the completed word after you finish word then immediately after the word want to cool to ambient temperature you start the visual inspection acceptance criteria for ASTM A514 A517 A5709 grade 100 and 100 W still should be based on visual inspection performed not less than 40 out 40 hour sorry 48 hours after completion of word this 48 hour means this still this kind of stairs are susceptible to uh, hydrogen induced cracking HAC and delayed crack um, something like that so this 48 hours during this 48 hours in the world month the hydrogen is in the world month so here after welding the hydrogen is like here inside of the world month and during 48 hours this hydrogen diffuse into the uh, in the world matter and it goes out from the word matter so at, during this 48 hours it goes out from the word matter after it goes out in the word matter you see this kind of porosity that's why it says inspect the word month after 48 hours of the completion of the word Number six, undersized word. The size of a fill-up word in any continuous word may be less than the specified nominal size L without correction by the following amount U. L is the specified nominal word size. So it's like this specified word size and U is a lower decrease, uh, decrease from L. So a lower decrease from the specified word size and this L means a lower decrease amount of fill up word size. So let's say like here, fill up word specified fill up word size is eight, then this eight applies to here including and greater than 8 then global decrease word size is 3 so it's it is 8 minus 3 is 5 so at a uh, global acceptable and global fill up word size is 5 minimum so even if it says 8 millimeter of fill up word size leg length the actual leg length and size of the fillet word in the actual production wording, 5 is acceptable. Of course, it is acceptable, but 5 is also acceptable. 5, including 5 and smaller than 5, the lower decrease is 2 mm and 6 mm, the lower decrease is 2.5 mm. This is what undersized word is, and this is very important. This question, this kind of question, frequently, frequently in the actual CW Part B question, and sample question is like here in the problem, the wording symbol is given, and examine F. A, so F8, this leg, uh, leg length word size is 12. So this part should be size of the fillet word 12. So check the fillet word size by using 
this fillet word gauge check this word size and if the fillet word gauge is not sitting perfectly completely you see here you have a small gap slight gap here this is not completely fitting uh, sitting on the word so this means this eight millimeter of fillet word gauge is not sitting here so this word size is bigger than eight millimeters so choose here it says 12 millimeter then 12 millimeter is belonging to this eight including eight and greater than eight so the rubber decreases three millimeter the 12 minus 3 is 9 millimeter so pick a 9 millimeter size of fillet word gauge and check this fillet word size and if this one is not fitting completely sitting on the word then this fillet word size is more than 9 millimeter then that's acceptable but less than 9 millimeter that's not acceptable that's the actual question of undersized words and this is undercut for material less than 25 millimeter thick undercut should not exceed 0.8 millimeter for material equal to or greater than 25 millimeter thick undercut should not exceed 2 millimeter for any length of word this is applied to statically loaded condition only so check the thickness of the material by using the steel ruler um, where is the question undercut here in the fillet word uh, here you can see the undercut undercut is the reduction of the base matter uh, the adjacent uh, right here in the ba uh, base matter in between base matter and word matter right here this is undercut and check the thickness of the base matter undercut is here so check the thickness of base matter this side if undercut undercut is here the check the thickness of base matter this side so if this thickness, base metal thickness, is less than 25 millimeter. On the cut depth is lower, up to 0.8 millimeter. But if the thickness of this base metal is more than 25 millimeter, including 25 millimeter, then depth of undercut lower is 2 millimeter. This is how you uh, solve this undercut question. And B is in primary members undercut shall be no more than 0.28 uh, I'm sorry 0.25 millimeter deep when the word is transferred to tensile stress under any design loading condition this primary members you're not able to figure out what this primary member so in the actual question this prime member primary member is given so you don't have to worry about this and again also transfers to tensile stress you're not you're not able to figure out what transfers to tensile stress just looking at the uh, plastic replica specimen so this is given also you don't have to worry about this transfers to tensile stress uh, when this primary members and transfers to the tensile stress, then undercut depth is 0.25 millimeter maximum. And all other cases, undercut shall be no more than 0.8 millimeter. This is for statically loaded condition and tubular connection. 
this undercut is in the actual CWI part B question. So you need to think about this undercut and you need to know how to check, how to measure depth of the undercut. Porosity. CJP group word. CJP means completed joint penetration, which is called full penetration in the real world. CJP group words in butt joint transfers to the direction of computed tensile stress shall be no shall have no visible porosity. Again, this transfers to the direction of computed tensile stress. You are not able to figure out what it is. So this is given in the actual problem. So at this time, CJP groove, no visible porosity when transfers to the direction computed of computed tensile stress is applied. For all other groove wells and fillet wells, the sum of the visible porosity 0.8 mm or greater in diameter shall not exceed 10 mm. The sum of the the visible porosity is 0.8 mm or greater diameter shall not exceed 10 mm. This is the acceptance criteria in any linear 25 mm. This is for statically loaded condition. And B, frequency of porosity in fillet wire should not exceed 1 in each in 1 in each 100 mm of wet length and maximum diameter should not exceed 2.5 mm. Frequency in each 100 mm of the length, the frequency of porosity is just 1. Exception. For fillet wires connecting stiffeners to web, the sum of the diameters of porosity should not exceed 10 mm in any linear 25 mm length. This stiffener web is, let's say, here is the flange and this is web, bottom flange here. This is flange, top flange. And this is bottom flange and this is web uh, when it when it has tensile load and compression load then flange top flange and bottom flange fluctuate up and down by the load tensile and compression load so to prevent this fluctuation, you just place a plate like this. And then weld here and here. I fill up weld. So this is this kind of support plate is called stiffeners. So stiffener to fill up weld, stiffener to web, and fill up weld here. This. Uh, when this condition is applied, a eh, diameter of porosity shall not exceed 10 mm. And this stiffener to web welding condition. And C is CJP groove wells in butt joint transfer to the, ten to the direction of computed tensile stress shall have no porosity. Same thing here. Uh, this is again tensile 2 uh, transfers to the Direction of computed tensile stress is not able to be figured out, so this is given in the actual question. For all other group wells, the frequency of porosity shall not exceed 1 in 100 mm of length and the maximum diameter should not exceed 25 of 2.5 mm. This is applied to cyclically loaded condition and tubular connection. This was porosity. This porosity is not in the actual question, so you don't have to worry about this porosity much. Okay, this was table one. I'm gonna stop here today, and next time in lecture eight, I'm gonna discuss about table two and three, and I'm gonna wrap up this chapter two. Thank you for listening to my lecture, and see you next time.